Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Dr. Jailbreak with another edition of iOS Inside Track, and I wanted to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 5 and iOS 5.0.1 Beta 2 on a Windows PC using the new version of Snowbreeze. Now, this new version of Snowbreeze, it actually removes the UDID requirement for iOS 5.0.1 betas, which means that even non-developers can install iOS 5.0.1 without having a registered account on iOS Dev Center. It also has fixed the iBooks sandbox crashing issues. It's fixed location service issues that iPhone 3GS users running the iPad baseband have been experiencing on iOS 5. And it's re-added the iPad baseband install option for the iPhone 3GS. Now this does not work at all for the iPhone 4S or the iPad 2. It's an untethered jailbreak for only, I repeat, for only the 3GS with the old boot ROM. It's tethered, meaning that you have to connect your device and run iBooty every time you lose power or you have to reboot for the iPhone 3GS with the new boot ROM, the iPhone 4, the third and fourth generation iPod Touches, and the first generation iPad. So if you guys don't want to, you know, deal with that, you know, you can wait until an untethered version comes out, which I will also do a video on. Now I'm going to show you guys how to install Semi-Tether, which is a patch from Cydia to get a semi-tethered jailbreak on devices which is pretty much just a safety net which will allow you if you lose power on the road and you're away from your computer to use your phone until you get to your computer and run iBooty. If you don't install semi-tether and you lose power you won't be able to use your device at all until you can get home and run iBooty. So first thing you guys need to do is click on the first link in the video description it will take you to Felix Brun's website where you can download iOS 5 for your device, then click on the second link in the video description and download Snowbreeze. I've saved both of them to my desktop to make it easier. So go ahead, once you have both of them downloaded, open up Snowbreeze, click OK, click Close Credits, and again right here it says this is a tethered jailbreak via iBooty except for old boot ROM 3GS users. So if you have one of the tethered devices running through Snowbreeze, it will actually extract iBooty to your desktop. Now I'm going to be jailbreaking the 3GS with the old boot ROM, so I'm not going to have that option. And also, like I said, it works for 5.0 and 5.0.1. Click on the arrow, click Browse, and click on the firmware that you just downloaded. And if you guys don't know if it's a new boot ROM or not, click detect it for me. You're going to have to put your device into DFU mode for it to tell you. I already know. Mine's the old boot ROM. So then click on expert mode. Click the arrow. Go to general. Now for those of you guys on T-Mobile or any other unofficial carrier and you guys use an unlock, Click on Activate the iPhone. For those of you guys that are on an official carrier, such as Verizon or AT&T, don't click Activate the iPhone. It also gives you the option to install SSH. And I would also leave the root partition size alone. So go ahead and click on the arrow. Now for those of you guys running the iPhone 3GS with the iPad baseband already, it's recommended to reflash the iPad baseband using Snowbreeze if you restore to a stock 5.0 firmware. So if you guys don't have the iPad baseband and you don't need an unlock, don't worry about this part. And you guys can read this right here. It's a warning telling you that you'll most likely lose your GPS function and it will void the warranty and there's no going back. You cannot downgrade back to a standard iPhone baseband once you do this click on the arrow and here you guys can you know do custom boot logos 
And here also gives you the option to download apps from your favorite repos to include into your firmware. So when you restore using iTunes, you'll have already whichever apps you want. So I'm going to skip that for right now. Click the arrow, then build IPSW, and then click the arrow again. And here you have the option to play Pac-Man while you wait, or you can click no thanks and watch the spinner go around. And once it has finished, click OK. And now you're going to want to turn off your device and place it into honed DFU mode. So once the device has fully shut down, click Start. And hold the home and power button for 10 seconds. And then while continuing to hold the home button, let go of the power button and hold it until your device has been put into toned DFU mode. And once it has been put into toned DFU mode, it'll pop up letting you know. And you can just close out of Snowbreeze. Now iTunes will pop up and it will tell you that your device needs to be restored, that it's in recovery mode. Hold down shift and then click restore and you're just going to want to locate the Snowbreeze IPS that you just created and then click open and it will start to restore your device. And once it has completed iTunes will let you know that your device has been restored to factory settings and the message will then disappear. And again for those of you guys who have tethered devices this, once it has loaded up, is when iBooty should pop up. And as you can see, I'm now on iOS 5. And there is Cydia. So I can open it up. Now for those of you guys with a tethered device, what you're going to want to do is open up Cydia. Go to Manage, Sources, Edit, and then Add and you're going to want to add this repo right here the bigboss.org slash semi tether once you have that added go into search and type in semi t and you'll see semi tether click on it and install and what it says is this will semi tether your tethered jailbreak allowing you to reboot your device on the road and use your phone until you get home and tether jailbreak in using red snow and that's it so you now have a semi tethered jailbroken device on iOS 5 so until next time guys please rate comment subscribe follow me on Twitter check out my links for swagbucks and Dropbox